This is an Optimus Prime helmet, which I freehanded and built entirely out of EVA foam. And my favorite part about it is the moving mouth plate, just like you see in the movies. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Propway. Today's video is sponsored by Hoverfly, more on them later. Because right now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made this functioning Optimus Prime helmet. Getting this out of the way right now, I will not be posting a template to go along with this build. With so many odd shapes and details, there was a ton of adjustments made on the fly that make it difficult to make a template. But I really think you guys can learn some cool tips and tricks for foam building as well as some simple electronics work. So think of this video more as a guide on how to make your own. So sit back, relax, and let's build Optimus Prime. I'm starting off with a thicker foam, specifically 10 millimeters, because Optimus is a big boy and needs big boy foam. We're gonna start by constructing the main outer shell of the helmet. So I sketch out these large panels for the side of the helmet, and we're gonna cut them out with an X-Acto knife. To get it even thicker, we're gonna stack two pieces together like this for both sides of the helmet, for a total thickness of 20 millimeters. Now we'll take these sort of half ring shapes and glue them under the outer edges of the side panels. I then freehand these large curved pieces that we glue to both sides, and this creates the top of the head. So now we have a helmet structure built just like this. Looks like Optimus Prime, right? Yeah, not really. So moving on, we're gonna glue in these large ear pieces because this is actually a Batman build. Okay, Greg, enough jokes, the people came for a tutorial. So now we're gonna add this diamond shaped piece right in the forehead, which is an iconic detail on almost every version of Optimus Prime. This is just a few pieces of foam that get attached to a mohawk kind of stripe on the top of the head. Now we trace and cut out some circles from scrap pieces of foam and glue them onto the sides of the helmet. Throw on some extra foam details around the eyebrows, and now we can do a quick test fit. I know, this helmet is huge, but that was intentional as I really wanted it to look larger than life when I displayed it. Or maybe that's just what I tell myself because I accidentally built it way too big. But either way, it worked out fine. Now speaking of transforming vehicles, meet the Hoverfly electric scooter, a scooter that can fold up just like a transformer. Okay, maybe not exactly like a transformer, but you get the idea. Let's quickly assemble the scooter right now and I'll show you how easy it is. Once you have it assembled, all you need to do is unlatch the steering column, snap it into place, and you're ready to go. Perfect for zipping through the city at speeds of up to 16 miles per hour. And when you're done, it literally folds up in just a few seconds. And I actually have two different models. The X1, which is lightweight with a 250 watt motor, perfect for a quick commute, and the GXL Max, which has bigger tires, a longer range, and 300 watt motors to zip you through tougher terrains and longer commutes. They're smooth, fast, compact, and they're built really for anyone that's always on the go. So whether you're battling traffic or just looking for some fun, these e-scooters from Hoverfly are your perfect ride. Check out Hoverfly today. Now going back to the helmet build, we're really gonna start focusing on the face of Optimus Prime. I start with this rectangular strip that I cut two holes out of, and this will act as the eyes. That whole portion gets glued right into the inside of the helmet. And then we add a large panel here for all of the other face details. At this point, it's really just going to be basically a collage of a bunch of small details. We're just gonna copy the movie stills as best as we can and hopefully come out with something nice. So this involves some cheekbone pieces, the nose pieces, and the upper lip. This next part is totally optional. Well, technically this entire build is optional, right? But basically this is how I get that talking mouth effect. There are no electronics involved in this part, and all it is is a foam structure that connects to the face with some thumbtacks and mini rubber bands. When you connect these two pieces in a certain way, you'll get a hinge mechanism that can be closed manually and then springs back with the rubber band. And when you add in this white plastic piece, you can actuate this mechanism with your chin inside the mask. Maybe a little complicated for something so simple, but I think it's a cool effect and you guys can definitely improve upon it. Now that we have most of the face done, I'm gonna install the LEDs in the eyes. You probably should do this after you paint the helmet, but sometimes I just get ahead of myself. I use these cosplay LED see-through panels that you can buy on Amazon and glued them into place using hot glue. So now we can finally paint this helmet using the iconic metallic blues and silvers that we all love about Optimus Prime. Now we're left with a very clean looking Optimus Prime, which is not the look I'm going for. 
I personally like the more battle damage look, so we're gonna go ahead and weather this thing. Using the same techniques I've shown in previous videos, we just water down some black acrylic paint, brush it on lightly, and then wipe off the remains using a paper towel. We can also add in streaks of gray to get the same effect. Another fun technique is the use of a silver sharpie along the edges of the helmet. Let's go ahead and work on my favorite part of the helmet, the moving faceplate. I'm using two of these mini linear actuators that when connected to a battery extend and retract. I have some space right between the side of the helmet and the cheek to sneak these actuators in, so we do it on both sides. And I usually try to avoid hot gluing any electronics into place because it's a lot more difficult to replace parts, but for this helmet that's more of a one-off and a display piece, I made an exception. These white plastic strips were glued to the ends of the actuators to give us a nice place to mount the mouth plate. For the electronics of the helmet, I used this mini remote to control the opening and closing of the mouth plate. This is actually just a simple motor controller that I bought ready-made on Amazon. It comes with this chip here that has wire leads to be connected to a battery and another set of leads to be connected to the linear actuators. Once that's all connected, the remote is able to wirelessly control the actuators. Super easy to use and it saves a ton of time on having to design your own wireless system. So now that we know the wireless system works, I made the mouth plates out of cardboard and painted it to match the mask. Now we just glue those onto the white plastic strips and that is how you make an Optimus Prime helmet. Well that was a super fun build, and I hope you guys learned something or picked up some new techniques for your own prop builds. If you have any other ideas for future projects or things you want to see me make, feel free to leave it down in the comments below, I read every single comment. Again, thank you to our sponsor Hoverfly, make sure to check them out. And as always, thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.